Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number two from the October 2023 Pure Mathematics P2 International A-Level LXL exam. This question here is about recurrence formulae. And you have here a recurrence formula where to find the next term, you have to follow this rule where you have 2 minus 4 divided by the previous term. This is what it means. Un plus 1 means to get to the next term. You have to follow this formula. So you have to do 2 minus 4 over the term before it. So we want to find what u2, u3 and u4 are. They've told us what u1 is. They've told us what un plus 1 is. So to find the second term, you do 2 minus 4 over the first term. And we know the first term is 3, so it's 2 minus 4 over 3. That's going to be 2 minus, um, that's going to be like 6 over 3, minus 4 over 3, which is 2 thirds. So we can say that the, the second term is 2 thirds. Okay, so that's one of the answers. And then for the second answer to find u3, you're going to have 2 minus 4 over u2 which is 2 minus 4 divided by 2 thirds. Now, when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by its reciprocal. So it's be 2 minus 4 times 3 over 2. Okay, the 2 and the 4 cancel to give you 2. So you have 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. So you're going to say u3 is equal to negative 4. Okay, and to find the fourth term, you're going to have 2 minus 4 over the third term. Now, that's 2 minus 4 over the third term, which is minus 4, which is going to give us 2 plus 1, which is 3. So the fourth term is equal to 3. So we have um, the second term is 2 thirds. The third term is minus 4, and the fourth term is 3. Okay, so this is, and if we look at the first term, the first term was actually um, 3 as well. Okay, it was 3. Okay, so this is the first term, the second term, the third term, and the fourth term. All right, so now how is that going to help us with part B? Part B says find the value of this. It's got this sigma sign which says sum of r equals 1 to 100. So basically what, the, what this is asking us to find is the first term plus the second term plus the third term plus all the way up to the 100th term. That's what they're asking us to find here. Okay, the sum of the first 100 terms of this sequence. Now we know that if we look at this, the first term was 3. So you have 3 plus 2 thirds, okay, plus minus 4 over 3, or you could say minus 4 over 3, okay, and then you're going to have plus, and it's going to, you can see that what's going to happen is it's going to continue because if you have 3 as the fourth term, the fifth term is also going to be 2 thirds, and the sixth term is also going to be minus 4. Okay, you're going to end up with something like this. Okay, you're going to end up with something like this, where you're going to repeat this. This, this is like a, 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 a periodic sequence where the same numbers repeat. Okay, every three terms repeats again and again and again. So it has a period of three. All right, so these three terms repeat again and again and again. So if we were to find the sum of the first hundred terms, okay, we're going to have basically... Um, if you think about it, you're going to have the first 99 terms be made up of all of these. And then the last term, the 100th term, would be a 3. So we're going to have these terms repeating. So you can say that you have that's going to be one set of 3s and two sets of 3s. So in the first six terms, you're going to have two sets of 3s. In the first nine terms, you're going to have three sets of 3s. So in the first 100 terms you're going to have 100 divided by 3, which is 33 and one third. So you're going to have 33 of these terms. It'll be 33 times this sum. Okay? And then the last term, the 100th term, there'll be one term left, it's going to be a 3. So the first 99 terms will go up to the minus 4, all right? The 99th term will be, nine, the 99th term will be minus 4, and the 100th term will be, okay, a 3. Okay, so that's how it was, it's going to look. So you have the 98th term will be 2 thirds, okay, and the 97th term is going to be 3. So it's going to be like this, 
All right, so you have altogether 33 sets of these numbers. So 33 times 3 plus 2 thirds minus 4 and then plus 3. So what does this give us? Okay, that's going to give us 33 times. You're going to have 3 minus 4, which is minus 1. Okay, minus 1 plus 2 thirds is minus 1 third. So you have minus 1 third and plus 3. So uh, 33 um, times minus 1 third is minus 11. Plus 3 gives us negative 8. So we can say that the sum of u r from r equals 1 to 100 is going to be negative 8. And so there's the answer to that question. All right, so because it ended up as a periodic sequence, which repeats every three terms, the first 99 terms will be those, those ter three sets of three. So it's 33 sets of those three terms. The sum of those three terms together is minus one third. You have 33 sets of them. That's going to be minus 11 when you add them together. Then add the, la add the last term, which is a three. That gives you minus eight. So that would be the sum of those terms. I hope that was clear. Okay, this is... Um, a typical type of sequence um, recurrence formula question where you end up with a, a sequence which is called a, re, a, um, a periodic sequence where the, the terms repeat again and again. So um, that concludes question number two uh, from this October 23 paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from the topic of series um, you can find from P2 in this particular playlist. Uh, and I'm going to put a special uh, playlist for recurrence formulae in series. I'll put a special part uh, in a, its own playlist over here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.